Re grabs. All right, here we go, boys. Are you ready to learn about Kaiser's stuff? So this is the most important fundamental thing you need to understand. Re grabs. This little teaches you how to do re grabs. You can only bounce off of certain enemies with a normal jump and vice versa. Spin jumping on certain enemies kills them and does not give you a bounce. So before you before we limit re grabs, you just gotta know which type of jump to use. So normal jumping on some enemies can kill you. Okay, pretend I died to the piranha plane, not the munchers, but... Yeah, so for example, alright, you can bounce off of those guys, but if you try to do spin jump, you won't get a bounce. Boop, you just fall down. In Mario Maker, you get a high bounce, but this isn't Mario Maker, boys. So there, there's enemies where you can use either jump, so you can use a spin jump or, or a normal jump for the chuck. Doesn't matter. So you get the same bounce sight off enemy. If you remember in that room in the first level where it said you can get you can clear five blocks and there's a spiny and there's a disco shell that's uh, one example rexes are the only enemy that give you a high bounce when you spin above them so when you kill it sorry i should say when you kill it so normally when you kill things with a spin jump you just fall down but rexes are a special case rexes are a little weird so you're the only enemy that can give you high bounce and they're also the only ones that can give you two bounces, because when you bounce off of it, it uh, starts moving faster. Like that. So here you go, boys. This is where the real stuff begins. So regrabs allow you to gain distance with less height. This is ideal in sections with low ceilings, so... You can see when I do a spin jump, I'm much lower, but normal jump puts me a little closer to the munchers. It's a little thing you should point out, so. So they do agree about you press A or B and immediately let go and repress jump. Spin jumps give you lower jump. Use them in sections with less space. So yeah, again, you can make this with a normal jump, but it just makes it way harder because you're higher up. So you can see on the input display, I, I do like a little double tap. Basically think of it as like a double tap. And then the second tap, you just hold it. And you can see I'm not going to hit the munchers, so. Okay, well, I'm bad, but. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the fundamental behind re grabs. It's all about that double tap. Like that. Keep in mind that, remember, in lesson one, that you jump higher the faster you're moving. So you can see if I'm moving this way, my double tap has to be way tighter because I'm higher. And I'm more likely to hit the munchers, so you could just do it from standstill, so you get a lower bounce, but you won't have the momentum. So if you do have momentum, you have to keep in mind that you do need to let go of jump pretty early, pretty early on, because you do get higher. Remember that holding jump makes you fall slower, so that's why you hold jump after the double tap, so you do fall slower. So it lets you get more clearance. You can also do a regrab after bouncing off an enemy. So remember, you get the same bounce sight off of an enemy. So the regrab timing and the regrab kind of like distance, you kind of get a feel for it after a while. No, if your bounce was too low, you press B too late. So yeah, these regrabs are actually kind of tight. These ones right here, they're a little tight, but they will get you good at regrabs. Or I'll just fall off the legend die like I did. So I actually nerfed this. <laughs> I made it a little lower to make it easier to clear. Fun fact, so, while I'm here, so you can see this this uh, little ceiling's three blocks high, and you can only clear three blocks with a spin jump. If you try to do normal jump, even for one frame, you hit the top. So you have two frames from standstill to not touch the munchers, and that's why I hate the trick. If you require a three block gap, um, you need to tap spin jump for less than two frames, it's very annoying. Yeah, I have closed captions because I have a deaf viewer. So again, same bounce sight off of uh, all enemies, so you kind of get used to it after a while. You can also let go of jump multiple times if you feel like you're too high. Instead of a double tap, you might want to like do it three times, but you kind of get a feel for it. 
Congratulations! Oh, it's not OK Champ anymore, boys. We got Pag Chomp. We're upgrading. Yeah, I did make this. Jump height, slow bounce. Alright, so this level, this level, and the next level. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you can, if you can master these, th if you can master this world in particular, including the test level, it'll take you so far in hacks. I'm not gonna lie, when I first understood regrabs and the mechanic behind it, it improved my gameplay so much. <laughs> I sound like a Fortnite streamer. It improved my gameplay. No, but like regrabs are really important because you use them on like every single jump. Just build lol. In some situations, you need max height from low bounce off an enemy to avoid death. To do this, release B right before bouncing off an enemy, after the bounce will be. Pressing B too early will give you a high bounce. Pressing B too late will not give you a fight. So this section. So. The timing here is... Right... Right... After. Like... Well, I guess it depends if you play an emulator, but for our console people, you basically want to press the... You want to let go of the jump button and repress it right when you touch the enemy. Maybe even a little after. Think of it as like a reverse double tap. It's like... Or a delayed double tap, rather, and you do the double tap right after you bounce on the enemy. Just like that. So you, you see you're about to land on the enemy and you have to let go of jump. So that's the key. You gotta remember to let go of jump and then not press it until after you land on the enemy. You can basically do it at the same time. But that's risky because if you do it a frame too late or a frame too early, you bounce into the munchers basically. So again, you do you do your little let go of B and then regrab. Let go of A, regrab. If it helps, you can let go of A hella early, like up here, and then just focus on the re A press once you land on the enemy. And then once you get good, you can kind of. Almost let go of A the entire time, or hold A the entire time. Like you can see here, I'm basically going to try to hold A the entire time, except the very end. And it almost looks like I'm holding A the entire time, but again, all that matters is you let go of jump at the right time. You only have to let go for one frame, actually. It's the right frame, but letting go of A for, or B for a longer than frame gives you a bigger window. So that's why it's easier to do this when you let go of the jump button as you're falling down, and then just focus on pressing that jump button after or when you touch the item, or the sprite you try to touch. <clears throat> so you can... You can actually gain a lot of height. Like, I'll try to gain a lot of height off the spin jump. Okay, that was too much height. <laughs> so that time I pressed A a little too early. Alright. But... I'm trying to see it. Yeah, you see right there? Yo, Sim, thanks for two months and welcome back. So you can see I gained a lot of a lot of distance. Right there. That's like a that's like a, a frame perfect one actually. Generally you probably do that, which is a good start. Like a lot of the times you probably won't make it. Because these are a little tight. But once you find the timing for it, it becomes almost uh, pretty consistent. Because most people, they are going to do this. They'll be like, they're too low, and they just mistime it. But it all comes down to seeing when you're about to land on the enemy, and then you just repress the jump button. So again, the, a good timing is right when you bounce on the enemy. That's when, that's the money. That's when you want to press it. So now we got the opposite. We got the high bounce. We're doing the low bounce, now we're doing the high bounce. So, in some situations, you need mid-height or my bounce off an enemy to avoid death. To do this, so you want to release B right after bouncing off of it, so it's kind of the opposite. So you want to release B later. So in this case, if you release it too early, you will... It'll give you a high bounce. Oh, uh, that should say low. 
No, dude. Version 1.1 out. I have to make that seal low. Pressing B too late will not get you in the plate. Wait. Am I reading this right? Yeah, this is this is the opposite. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be opposite. If you press it too early. Oh, wait, wait, wait. maybe I'm confusing myself. Oh wait. No, I think it's right. Never mind, I'm bad. So basically saying if you hold B for too long, you're gonna die. Like that. But if you do it too late, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do the, the low bounce and not the high bounce. You can technically make this with a max low bounce, like that, but it's kinda tricky to time. So here here's where you're gonna get you're gonna get your ass beaten in the soul if you try to do the high bounce, but it'll help you in the long run, and I feel that's more important. Better get your ass beaten now than later. So basically, you want it's almost like a re-grab. You wanna let go of the spin jump button right after you bounce off the enemy. Like that. Cause if you do it too late, then you're gonna get too much height. So basically if you wanna do like small bounces off of enemies. In places where you can't do a, a low bounce because the low bounce, the, uh, you won't be able to get that over that muncher. You need to do a, a high bounce, but a very, a very low one. So like, like, like these. Those are tough. I actually do some of those in Grand Prix too. A, a few levels, but. Yeah, you can see if you time it right, you don't get too much height, but it is kind of hard to time. You have to, you have to really let go of the jump button right after. But I believe in you guys. Yeah, you know, James Carter, thing for the eight months, and welcome back. If you want to cheese it a little, you can try to be more on the left side of the enemy when you bounce off of it, because you'll be lower. Because if you like right on top of the enemy like that, you might bounce off of it higher. But if you can like clip the side of it, like the left side like that, you can see I got a much lower starting point or point of impact. So it's a little thing you could do. But in situations like this, you just need to uh, really get that timing down, get the feel for it. What is layer 2? Oh, that's um, where... In most hacks, it's where the blocks move up and down, or to the left and right. Maybe I should actually put a layer too low. Yeah. So yeah. This level has a pretty low ceiling. I thought about raising it up one, but then Dode one-shot it, and I was like, okay, I guess we'll keep it like this. Again, it will probably body, body a lot of you in the beginning, but the timing isn't too bad once you understand it. And it'll definitely help you. Especially in tighter areas, because a lot of guys with have tight areas. A DLC. <laughs> Alright, so here's a test. So, this is where it really, really tests your regrab ability. So, again, it teaches you about regrabs, jump heights, both low and high bounces. I might die, you also by DK. So you gotta mix and match the low bounces and the high bounces. So one thing that might help is before you approach the next jump, you need to think to yourself, alright, is this a low bounce or a high bounce? And that gives you time to adjust and makes you decide, alright, am I supposed to let go of the jump on as I land on the enemy, or am I supposed to do a little after? Because that will give you your determination on whether you want to do a low bounce or high bounce. So for blind, for like blind runs, it's a little harder because you're doing it blind, but... Looking ahead and thinking to yourself, alright, this is the type of jump I have to do, it does, it does help a little. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of the background. Oh, dude, we got we got the we get the pog jam upgrades. 
went to a poggy you know